You know, the market is always hungry for new avionics systems, and one company that's sort of been in stealth mode for the past couple of years is Nighthawk Flight Systems. They're here at AirVenture 2025 in Oshkosh with a product called the Guardian. It's a pretty nice display and really smart electronics. It's worth a closer look. That's what we're going to do. Hi, this is Paul Martin, uh, CEO of Nighthawk Flight Systems at AirVenture 2025, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, home of aviation. I'm pleased to be here this year to announce that we have an all-new 12-inch large format display announced by Nighthawk Flight Systems this morning. We call it the Guardian Unit. Nighthawk is a new company, uh, small, privately held. Uh, we came into being in March of 2022 uh, with the acquisition of the assets of the uh, Sandell Avionics Company. So the first thing we did as Nighthawk is we put all of those Sandell instruments up into full production and they're all in production and available today. Ship in minutes, our world-class uh, terrain avoidance systems are available today, ready to go today. About a year and a half ago, we decided that uh, what we really wanted to do was to develop a large format display that was something that everybody could afford, everybody could manage. To do that, we, we felt we were entering a market that was pretty saturated and we needed to differentiate ourselves in a major way. And we did that through what we think is flight safety. We have a system with world-class synthetic vision. And by that, I mean, as you see behind me and we'll see in a moment, we represent real-world synthetic vision with full layers of information the situation the pilot is in at all times with real world graphics. We create a digital twin of the earth and then we layer important information onto that digital twin. And then that represents exactly the situation the pilot is in at all times. That's just a part of our system. We also uh, attach that display then to what we call a nest, which contains all of the functions that are required to fly the airplane. So in the nest, we have individual functions such as mission uh, uh, computing, um, ADAHARs, smart I.O. to interface with all of the existing on onboard aircraft. Our smart I.O. enables us to program our individual pins to accept either analog or digital information. And that makes us compatible with pretty much all of the autopilots that are out there, all of the aircraft systems that are out there. At the moment, we offer a basic system that is uh, three blades. As this year progresses, we will be adding functionality with radios, an integrated GPS, ILS, eventually CPDLC, all of the functions you would expect to find in a large certified airplane. About one year from now at Oshkosh 26, we'll be presenting a full glass cockpit, uh, four 12 inch or seven inch displays, whatever your choice is. Today, you can have a 12 or a seven or both. Um, at a very reasonable price with actually exceptional graphics. Okay, so what we've decided uh, to do first is to certify this basic system. So you have a 12 inch display, 11.6 inch viewable area, flat panel to the, to the panel itself. With this basic setup nest behind us, this will be certified for part 23, class one and two, but also experimental and restricted category. Uh, in the fourth quarter of this year. Hopefully, October of this coming year will be available for delivery to class one and two aircraft. We're going directly, as the coming year comes, in Oshkosh of 2026, this nest will be fully populated. We'll have 12 inch, seven inch displays, all uh, uh, analog and digital autopilots, other than Garmin, and uh, Electronic instruments will all be displayed on these displays with radio, integrated GPS, and ILS. The, the price of this basic system right now will come in in October at under $40,000 for what you see here. And at uh, next year's Oshkosh, when we have an all-glass cockpit with all of the driving software, the total price for that will be about $110,000 for four displays, two complete nests, two complete systems. We have a dealer network uh, today. Uh, the, all of the previous Sandell dealers that we've worked with for many, many years. So dealers you know um, are very much involved with us. We're just now coming out of kind of a quiet mode of development. We didn't want to uh, bring this to market until we knew we had hardware, we knew we had certification, we knew we were deliverable. 
So we're there now at Oshkosh. We'll begin working with our dealers, but all of our dealers that you all know will be handling this equipment. Uh, uh, and they will be available through them, along with appropriate training on, on the equipment and uh, support. If you think about the product support of this, our plan is, if any aspect of the unit breaks, each one of these LRUs can be uh, FedExed overnight to any aircraft location in the world. So the support, uh, 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 this is a complete system, and it's installable on the, on the field um, in minutes, really. You take the cover off the display, pull the old one out, connect it, put the new one in, and you go fly. And that'll be the support of the system. So whatever aspect is having a problem, we'll just simply replace it in 36 hours and give you a pouch to mail the, mail the old unit back in. Uh, we're at the display now. This is uh, John Morton, is our chief engineer at Nighthawk Flight Systems. John's been with us from the beginning and uh, actually was an early architect of what it is we're doing here today. So this is the display. It's a 11.6 inch viewing area. It has multi-touch control, uh, backed up with tactile controls. The color you see corresponds to what's being controlled on the display. You can touch the display, and now you're controlling altitude. Now you're controlling vertical speed. It has multi-touch, but again, tactile control. This is a joystick to control the moving map display. And this whole display is connected to all of the associated avionics in the aircraft with a single cable. That single cable attaches to this nest. And the nest, if you look at the display, so that is operating, that is fastened in the airplane. This weighs 4.7 pounds. This is the mission computing unit. We have smart input-output, which allows us to program and connect to existing systems. This is our air data attitude heading reference system. And these are links that connect all of the blades together. So when you put all functions, including radios, nav, integrated GPS, everybody talks to everybody instantly. All you do is put the blade in, connect the appropriate antenna or what have you. Everything else is taken care of with, the, with these blade links. For communication back and forth. This unit here can be installed, installed anywhere in the aircraft you'd like. You can put it right behind the display, behind the panel, or you can put it in a cargo compartment. You can put it under the floor, you can put it back in the back. You can put it anywhere you want within 25 feet of the display. So we're hovering here in Manhattan in the Hudson River. These graphics that you see are uh, symptomatic of graphics that you would uh, have anywhere in the world. And these are inside our machine. This is not streaming in any way. This is all contained in our graphics engine. So let's go to a moving map there, John. So we can bring up moving map. We can scale this to pretty long range. And we can zoom in pretty tight. Show the extended runway there. Declutter some things. And we've got currently a selected extended runway to LaGuardia, in this case, runway 04. Um, that'll show up in here in our lateral views. It'll also show up in our 3D view. If we were on that path, you'd get a, a line showing on our extended runways. We also have diagram capabilities, so we can show uh, the airport diagram. This one happens to be loaded up for Teterboro at this point because this is our closest runway that we've got. And we will be geo-referenced on the, on the airport diagram as well as all charts and maps. So if we were within the confines of the airport, our little blue plane would be showing you your exact lo location on the, the chart itself. We have our approach procedures. Same thing, this one's geo-referenced as well, so it's showing us currently in the Hudson, not on path for that particular approach. If we select different approaches, we'd get those different plates. We can also show our departure procedures. These are not geo-referenced, but we can pull up any of the typical departure procedures and instructions, and our arrival procedures as well. In the product, but not available in this demo here, we also have sectionals, we have the airways, we have the low and high, and we have VFR sectionals as well, all available in the box.
website is nighthawkfs.com. Uh, we are at Space 373 at Oshkosh, just off of Boeing uh, Plaza. Come and see us. We have two uh, simulators available to come and fly, and uh, come and have a nice time and, and take a walk around. You're up.